everyone, it's Michelle Barada. Welcome to Bella Branch TV. And today is a really fun DIY. It's a no sew DIY. What that means is that I'm gonna make something that you don't need a sewing machine, but it's gonna look like you sewed it with a sewing machine. And the reason I'm doing this is because I get so many requests to do another no sew project. During the back to school edition that I did the um, no sew pencil cases, they were so popular and that I just decided I have to do another one because I'm getting so many of you asking me to do more no sew. So this project is perfect for organizing your desk, above your desk, because you can hang it anywhere. You can hang it on the back of a door, so if you have a dorm room, it's perfect. You can put your makeup in there, art supplies, school supplies, whatever it is that you need to organize. And the cool thing is that you can make it to be personalized to match your room, so whatever your style is. Now I did mine kind of a vintage-y style. It's like a vintage Hawaiian um, floral kind of a pattern in mine. And it's really easy, super fun, and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. So you guys ready to get started? Well, come on. What you'll need for this project is fabric in multicolors and different swatches, fabric glue, scissors, pins, an iron, ribbons and trim, and a hanger. First you're going to take your hanger and you're going to measure the bottom opening and it comes to 15 inches on mine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add a half inch on both sides which would make it 16 inches. Now you're going to take your main piece of fabric, the one that's going to be the background of your wall hanging, and you're going to mark it at 16 inches across and 28 inches long. Now you're going to take the edge of your fabric with the fabric facing right side down and you're going to flip up about a half inch all the way across the bottom. and continue ironing a half inch seam all the way until you've completed all sides. Now take your no sew glue and you're gonna put a bead of glue underneath the half inch seam allowance and do this all the way around until you've done every part of your wall hanging. And I love this glue. It is so cool that you don't have to sew. After you finish gluing all the edges, you're going to take your pins and you're going to put one pin on each corner to help secure it until it's completely dry. Now you're going to take your hanger and you're going to take one end of the piece of fabric, the one that's 15 inches wide, and you're going to put it right through the hanger. And you see how the raw edges of where the half inch seam is all the way around is facing me? That's important because that's going to be hidden in the back. So you're going to take about two inches down and put a bead of glue. And then you're going to fold over that fabric. Then you're going to take your pins and you're going to put a pin on each side of the where you just flipped it over so that it's secure until it completely dries. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take some paper or cardstock and you're going to make shapes as to the size pockets that you want. This makes it really easy so if you see something that you know maybe you have a brush or some makeup brushes that are tall you can kind of measure the height that you want. And remember, you're gonna fold this all a half inch all the way around, so it's gonna be a half inch smaller than the actual rectangle or square that you have placed on here. After you've decided where you wanna place them, then what you're gonna do is you're going to put them on some fabrics and cut them to the corresponding sizes as your uh, paper's templates. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these and you're gonna flip them right side down and you're going to put a half inch seam allowance all the way around and you want to iron this all the way around just like you did on the main background piece. And you're just going to continue along until you have all the sides. Okay. 
After you've ironed all the seam allowances on all your pockets, now one by one you're going to take the glue, your no-sew glue, and you're going to close the seams all the way around. After all your pockets have dried, it's time to lay it out on your main piece. And what I do is I take some pins and I, I mark that at the top of where I want each piece to lay. It kind of helps me after I glue, so when I'm placing it down, I have a marker of where it sits. And notice that I've only glued three sides because the top is the opening. After I've placed all my pockets, I can remove the pins. Look how cute it looks so far, but we still have more to do to make it look even more fabulous. I took some velvet ribbon and I placed it at the bottom of my wall hanging and I glued that down and left a little bit on the edge, about a half inch, so that I could fold it under. Then I took some sequence that was kind of a, a greenish color and I added that on top to make it even look more cool. Next, I'm going to take some leftover fabric and I'm going to cut it in strips, not perfect strips. And I'm going to start wrapping it around randomly all around the top of the hanger. And if it ends a piece, I tie it in a knot and then I keep going. It's kind of got that rustic, shabby chic, anthro, -fee, free people kind of a feel. And it makes it look really cool. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think this one turned out so cute. Look how cute that is. Look. Look what's in it. I put some lotion here, and I put some makeup brushes here, and a book here. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but look how great it is. Look, this is kind of a heavier book, and it fits there. This glue really holds, I promise. It's really cool. Look how cute the whole thing is. I hope you guys loved this project, and I hope it was fun. Be sure to leave me some comments. I get back to every single comment. Until next time, bye. But wait, there's more. If you wanna watch more of my videos, just click on one of the videos that you see on the screen right now. And also I post every Saturday and Sunday. I know this weekend I missed my Saturday. I had an issue with my camera, but I'm up and running again. Until next time, bye.